Hello everybody and welcome to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to Maypole Farm here on Farming Simulator 19. Nearly said 17 once again. Still got to get my head through that. We have not finished that field there. That's the first thing I'm going to say before we kick off the video. But welcome back. I hope you guys are well. Sorry it's been a bit of a while since the uh, the last video. Um, so what we're doing first of all is heading into our field with a trailer. Really simple job to start off with. We did at the end of the last video, if you remember, start harvesting this. I missed a few bits because I wasn't really, really paying attention. But never mind. Let's go ahead and park under here. Now, one thing you may notice is I finally got around to using both side panels. Only one of them actually does anything at the moment. That's not because I've got the other one here for show. What I'm going to do now that we can do this in-game is... Um, actually, how do I put the pipe out? That's the header. Oh, well, we need to fold that out anyway. That's fine. Um, don't know if I actually got a button mapped out for that. So there we go. As I was about to say, that's a good example. Um... But it's just, so the other one's here, so if we need stuff, we can map it. We have a blank slate, basically. So if we need a button, we just open up the pause menu, and we uh, we then map it out on that one. So at least it's there, ready to go. It saves me saying I can do it in the next video. I can literally do it in this video. So anyway, back to the game. Let's go ahead and unload this. So this is sunflowers. We're actually going to be storing these, for now at least. Ooh, wrong gear simulate. Um... Go ahead and pull forward a little bit, just so it's nice and even there. So I hope you guys are well once again. It's been a while. Um, I've been streaming a lot on Twitch lately. So make sure you guys go check out my Twitch channel if you haven't already. Right, let's load this up. It's actually going up pretty slowly. Now, I do finally have a mod, if you can see down in the bottom right there, that tells me the crop. Finally. I was getting really confused in the live stream if you guys were watching that. Um, so yeah, I've just been streaming a lot lately. So there's not been no video. So big thank you to everyone that's been in my streams on YouTube and Twitch. Right, let's head out of here. Like I said, we're going to put this in the shed. Now, before I get into doing that, I need to find out tip size. So RT, uh, R2, sorry, and down. So we can change that to green door. There we go. Nice one. Let's go ahead and turn that back off. So, yeah, lots of good maps coming out soon as well. So, we will be changing to different maps at some point. But for now, we will go ahead and stay in here. Oh, we need to get that bucket out of the way. Dang it. Right, let's go ahead and leave the Ford on real quick. Let's run over to our little rented Kramer. I call it Kramer. It could be Kramer. I'm not exactly sure. Let me know in the comment section down below. Okay, right, we want to get these bags off for a minute. In fact, we just want to take the whole fork off. So let's go ahead and drop that down like so. Right, so do not save the game with the bags on the forks because they go into like a weird solid state, which is uh, weird and it's hard to get off. Right, there we go. Let's go ahead and hook up the bucket here. Once again, this Kramer is rented. It's not ours. So we do need to take this back at some point. I was just kind of hoping that we could get all the harvesting done. I think we have. I think that was the last field, actually. I have to double check. Right, let's get that turned off. Now, with the Ford, we can go ahead and plop it in that corner there. So we've got a small pile of canola, which I need to work out how to get this out. because that's gone in the ground a little bit. Uh, maybe I shouldn't actually put the... Yeah, maybe I shouldn't actually put... We will put the... Uh... We'll put the sunflowers in here for now. I think I know how to get the uh, the grain out of there, so it's fine. Right, let's go ahead. Back. So if you do know a replacement shed, like I'm looking for a small place, like a small shed I can put my grain. If you guys do know, let me know, because this one here seems to have no tip coals on the bottom, which is a bit annoying. Right, let's get this unloaded. Need to be careful, because I think this tray is a little bit too big for this shed, you can see. So we want to start pulling out as it goes up. Like that, so we do not get the uh, the back of it stuck up on the metal beam there. Is that gonna be alright, Lego? Can't actually see. We've got the shed a little bit there. We do push it in. That's why we've got the Kramer, by the way, so we can push it in, so it's not too much of a worry. No, it's failed completely. I needed a bigger shed, I think. There we go, we've got it now. Let's go ahead and lower that down. In fact, we can go ahead and disconnect the whole trailer from here. When it lowers down, that is. Don't want to stop with it up in the air. Right, let's get it disconnected. Now, obviously, the front weight is selected. Let's go ahead and get that lowered and then disconnected as well. So, right, so we're heading to the store. We have some more purchases that we need to pick up. To Why did that pick back up? I don't understand. Let's go ahead and drop out there. Why did that pick that back up? All right, so we need to head to the store. So before we do that, I need to go to placeables. We want to go to animal pens somewhere here. There it is. 
by T-Rex Modding. This is a placeable sheep pasture. We want to go ahead and put this, I reckon, about here. So where's the field? We want a bit of, actually, we want to make sure we can turn around, I think. So let's go ahead and I think you can hold, there we go. If you hold C, you can actually do it at angles, which is pretty cool. And we'll plop that there like that. So now we have a sheep pasture ready to go. That's going to be our main focus of uh, this, this playthrough here. It's going to be sheep. It's a wool farm, basically. Wool and cereal. So we need to get some food in there. We don't actually have any sheep just yet. That'll be for... I'll, I'll do that today, actually. I will do that today. But I've already gone ahead and got the mower and stuff ready. So we need to get some grass done. So... Uh, probably should have gone with the front mower for this. But I went with the side mower because I'm going for British style. Uh, so I probably shouldn't have actually used the... Um, probably shouldn't have used... I'll show you when I get to the store. It's hard to explain. Right, okay, so here we are at the store. Now, this is what I was telling you guys about. So, let's break the immersion a little bit and talk about the game. So, I'm doing this British style. Now, I don't know where you guys are from, but where I am, the typical way to do it would be to use a mower like this, a rear mower like this, maybe. If you're lucky enough, you have a front mower as well. Um, and then, you'd use a trailed forage harvest or pickup, a trailed forage pickup, whatever you want to call it, to pick it up and shoot it into a trailer. Unfortunately, we don't have one of them in-game just yet, and there's no official mods that have been released so unfortunately the only way i can think of doing this is to use a uh a forage wagon and of course we need to windrow it and stuff in a second as well so the forage wagon is rented it's not ours so if you guys do know of a forage a trail of forage harvester that actually works please let me know because that's how we do it around here around my area and then um, obviously you shoot it into the back of a trailer fortunately we haven't got that in farm sim so we will be using the forage harvester today uh, the forage wagon today um, I think it's going to be a lot. Well, I don't think it's going to be a lot cheaper than actually renting a forage harvester just for this. So yeah, that's my reason behind that. Could change, but there we go. If you guys do know of a good one that works, a good trailed one, please let me know. Um, I need to look for a cotton field <laughs> somewhere. I think it's up here. So we did buy some new land. You guys may have noticed that the money has just dramatically changed. Uh, where there's only one grass field available, so I had to buy it. But unfortunately, it came with three other, uh, two other fields. So there's a grass field and then two other fields. Uh, so we've gone ahead and bought that. We are now a lot more down on the money than we wanted to be, which is a bit annoying. So I think we have to turn here. This is cotton. Is it cotton? No, it's not. This is obviously the next one. That turn looks way too sharp to be it. So it's going to be the next one here. Yeah, there we go. So a bit of an off-road drive to do here. It's got the end of this road. There we go. So here's our new cotton field. Not sure how... We might just plow that in, to be fair. Um, we'll cultivate it in because it's going to be cost us way too much money to rent a uh, to rent a cotton harvester just for that. We'll never make our money back. So let's go ahead and get this mower unfolded. This mower, once again, is a little bit too big for my liking, but it'll do for now. Um, let's get the beacon lights off. Right, that's how you lower it. Let's get it turned on. Like so. Drop her down and away we go. So that's the plan. We're going to go ahead and mow this field here. We'll get it all windrowed up nicely. And then hopefully we'll have some uh, grass to give to our cows. Uh, sorry, our cows, our sheep when they eventually come. So we just got the one pasture for now. Of course, we've got uh, Riverview um, that we're going to be using for cows and stuff at the moment. So until another British map comes out, that's what we're dealing with. So I'm going to go ahead and make a good start of this. So sit back, enjoy. It's time lapse time. Get yourself a drink. I'll be back in just a second. Yeah. 
Alrighty, so we are pretty much finished now. Let's go ahead and get the lift up. We've got one little tiny smudge left to do here. Hopefully we can get this in one go. Uh, looks like we're not going to be able to. Dang it. Might just reverse. There's a little tiny bit there now, which is going to annoy me. So let's go ahead, do this. Mowing looks so fantastic now we have the crops that actually move in FS19. Right, just go ahead and reverse this up. Like so. Drop it down. And we'll get this. So there's one more thing I want to do. Just so we get our money's worth. Pound saver menu and all that lot. What we're going to do is go now anti-clockwise and get the bits that we missed. Well, not missed, but this isn't actually part of the field. So I wasn't going to get it. But then, hang on, that's a bit too close. I need to make sure I've got room to actually get the rake around. Okay. I'll do. I'll probably leave this bit here. This is pretty, pretty narrow anyway. So what I'm going to do is start heading along here like that. So yeah, in a real life scenario, uh, you try and get everything you possibly could, I suppose, wouldn't you? So even though this is technically the bit we're doing now is not technically the field, um, try and get as much grass as we can out of it. So let's go ahead and do this lap, little anti-clockwise here. So if I go into cab, look how fantastic it looks now when you're mowing. It actually knocks the grass over. Apparently not outside the field. That's awkward. I spoke too early. If you're doing it on the field depths, it like bends the grass over and then mows it, which is pretty cool. You guys would have seen that anyway. Once again, not going too close to the hedge there. I don't want to get the rake caught up in the uh, the collisions or that lot, so. Let's cut around here like so. Awesome. In fact, this bit here is the field, so I can show you here. There we go, look. So actually on the field, it bends the grass over and then mows it. I think it looks awesome. Looks really, really good. Alright, let's just finish up here. I'm not sure why there's a bit of cultivated patch there. It must have been where we forgot to drill. Uh, I must have been being lazy that day. Right, so we are now done. Let's go ahead and fold this mower up. Like so. Look at the birds coming in to get see what they can uh, salvage here. Look. Awesome. I don't know what happened to the, um, the deer. Have you guys heard about that? There was meant to be deer in FS19. And even though I've been working alongside giants, no idea where the deer's gone. I've not even asked them. Um... Might be a question I ask them later on, to be fair, because I was really looking forward to the deer. Now, we actually own this mower. We didn't rent this, so I'm going to go ahead and take this back to the yard. Need to finish that plowing at some point. It's just very tedious, isn't it? It's not a very powerful tractor. Right. So let's go ahead and plop this over here. We really need, at this point, another shed, I think. But we're a bit strapped for cash. No, it looks like we still have 300k left. Don't forget, we were like 1 million in debt, I think it was. Um, No, no, no. No, no. There we go. Let's get you lower down like that. Right. Let's put her into forward. Let's go ahead and get our rake. Um, it's a shame we only have one tractor. So, I've actually made... While we head to the store, minute, let me just go ahead and buy this. Um, let's go to... I don't even need to look which one we're getting, because I know which one we're getting. I have no mods installed just yet for the rakes. And I want this one. This is my favourite one. Least... Uh, actually, how much is it to buy? 30 grand. We will buy this. We'll buy this. We'll get it out of the way. Right, so... I've decided we are going to use the fire dragon, so hear me out for those of you that don't like fire dragons. In my head, I might be being stupid here, in my head there's no way of using a forage harvester without follow me. Follow me's not out yet, course play's not out yet, um, so the only way to do it would be to put the trailer on the back of the forage harvester. And that's not really something I see around me, unless it's like a the headland of a cornfield. So, yeah, I've decided we're going to go with the forage dragon for now. Uh, hopefully, like I said, we get the trailed one soon, or we get follow me soon. Um, really, really missing follow me. So yeah, that's my uh, reasoning for using the forage wagon today. So hopefully you guys don't mind too much. Hopefully you understand. Let's go ahead and get it. Okay, so we're now back at the field. I'm going to go ahead and start... Uh, first of all, get the beacon lights off. They're not strobes, they're... Uh, what they call them? Let's go ahead and sort that unfolded. Yeah, they're not strobes, they are rotary beacons. So I like to turn them off so they don't break. Um, or burn out even. So let's go ahead and make a start on this. Once again, I'm good old simulate fashion. I'm just going to randomly start here. I know it triggers some people, but I like doing the headlands last. And uh, so I just usually start somewhere random and then go from there. All right, try and keep this as straight as possible. Which is something I'm usually pretty bad at. So let's go ahead. I can't wait for GPS. Dang it. All right. Make a start on this. So one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to break the immersion in a minute talk about the channel so as i told you guys there will be a relaunch pretty soon 
of the channel. It was meant to be for the first video of 2019, but everything got a little bit delayed with Christmas and all that lot. And there's also another delay because the company that I'm meant to be partnering with, once again, there's no money involved in that. I know I said I don't YouTube for the money, which is true. It's just a uh, an advertising um, thing, basically. So we're not going to give too much away. But there's been a bit of delay with that. I think they're trying to be a little bit naughty, if I'm being honest. And I'm not going to go into too much detail because I'm not here to slate a company. But there's been a slight delay on that. But there is a massive change coming at some point to the channel. So don't worry about that. It will change the way you guys watch the, the uh, my videos. Um, that's all I'm going to say. I'm trying not to give too much away. I'm being intentionally vague here. So, you, actually, what am I doing? I could leave that down, couldn't I? Because I'm doing the headland last. And we've got good articulation on this tractor, so... Uh, yeah, it's set down here. So, yeah, I mean, intentionally vague. I do apologise about that. I don't want to give too much away. Uh, but, yeah, you guys should really, really, really enjoy that, I'm thinking. So, um, yeah, I'm going to shut my mouth now before I end up giving it away. But stay tuned for that. So, whenever there's a video that comes out in the near future saying relaunch or something, I recommend you guys watch it. There's going to be a huge spoiler in there. And that will be before the actual change. So, yeah. Anyway, back to farm sim. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and finish this right now. Like I said, I do the headlands last on the wind roaring. There's been a bit of debates as late. This is what I find really, really interesting. This is what's again breaking the immersion of farm sim here by talking about YouTube. But, hear me out. So, whenever I do stuff like this, there's always at least one person in the comment section that's, first of all, abusive, but I don't care saying, you stupid idiot, that's not how you do it, blah, 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 you do it like this, blah, blah, blah. And then there's always real-life farmers jumping on that comment saying, no, you're actually wrong, which is, I find quite funny, because it just goes to show there is not one way of doing things in the farm world. In the real, not farm some more, but real-life farming. There's no book of farming. There's just whatever way works for you and your family, basically. So some, well, usually pretty young, I assume, would say, stupid idiot, that's not how you do it, my uncle doesn't do it like that. Well, that's just your uncle, that's not, um... That's not a rule of farming. See, so yeah, I find it pretty funny. So let me know in the comment section down below uh, if you're a real-life farmer, how you personally rake, whether I'm doing it the way you would. I know most people lift it up, um, but I don't know. I don't own a real-life rake, so I couldn't possibly tell you. I could be breaking it here, but it should be all right. Um, but yeah, let me know how you do it. In fact, I, might, I just realized I'm probably going to break the PTO by turning with it turned on, but... Yeah, let me know in the comment section how you do it, or if you're not even a real life farmer, you can join in and say how you see people do it, or how you do it in farm sim, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking real life, you'd probably do that, or at least even turn it off. I don't think you'd have to turn it off. Once again, I'm not a real life farmer, so I don't know, but I, don't, I can't see you having to turn it off. Um, so yeah, let me know. Right, okay, ready. So we now have another rented, ve uh, not a vehicle, we've rented attachment on the back. We have a livestock trailer. So we'll, before we go ahead, oh gosh, actually I missed my turning. That's not really unrealistic because I do that all the time in real life. Uh, what was I saying? So yeah, we're going to go ahead and do the forage wagon stuff at the end just so it doesn't get too, um, not persistent, what's the word? Too grindy. I don't want to do the whole grass work session today. So we are looking for the animal market, which I've not actually been to yet. So this can be the first time. I believe it's down here. I'm looking for some sort of building. So some over there could be that. We did get the nice blue um, vinyl top, tarpaulin top, whatever that's made of. That looks like it. Let's go ahead and back up and it's got our, our hazard lights on. We already have our beacon lights on, so that's not an issue. I messed that up completely by nearly missing the turning. So let's go ahead and go through here. Get our hazard lights off now. So here is the animal market. Like I said, I've not been here just yet. This is also, I believe, the BGA. Is it? Am I in the wrong place? I think I remember it might be in the wrong place. Okay, so I finally found the trigger. Turns out it's up here. We need to try and get up here without falling down the gap. There we go. Not sure why it's up here, but we'll take it. It's more like a grain cell point, but if we press R, there we go. So, like I said, we're doing sheep. Uh, what is it? Should we have white sheep or brown sheep? We'll have, we'll have, we'll have black and white for now. Um, so how much can we actually fit in here? That is the question. Is it just going to let us keep going? Surely it's not infinite. Okay, there we go. Um, how much is that? I can't even bother to count. Let's go ahead and do confirm. So now we have a trailer full of... There's actually quite a lot of sheep in the back of here. Quite impressed with the uh, capacity of this. Um, so yeah, we finally found it. it. Turns out I was looking in the wrong section for that uh, trigger. I thought it was around the corner where the barn is. So I'm not really sure what the barn's for, if I'm being honest. Um, let's go ahead and turn around this way. So we'll get these taken 
to the um, to the new pen that we had uh, put down. Oh, a massive drop in performance now. Jeez. Tell you what we'll do. We'll put the four-wheel drive on. Not that we need it, but forward struggling just a little bit with all that weight on the back. Just want to give it all its power and stuff. In fact, it seems to be all right now. It might have just been because we were pulling off. Well, so yeah, that's the plan. We're going to go ahead and get these unloaded. And then we're just the last job to do, which is uh, collecting the grass. Uh, we need to go... I forgot which way it is. I think it's this way. Right, okay. So here is the sheet. It really does suit this map, doesn't it? Look at that. Um, I'm not sure why we unload these just yet. This is the first time I've ever used this thing. I downloaded it on the first week. Uh, but was really looking for a nice British map to put them into. And I'm going to assume that this is the unload point. There's like a little ramp for them to climb into. So let's go ahead and position ourselves properly here. Um, let's get the door unfolded first of all. That's probably not how this would work in real life, but never mind. That will do about there, I reckon. How are we looking? Should be okay. See, so yeah, I'm assuming in real life you just have like a little drawbridge thing that will go along here. Um, do we have to open this? Does this open even? No, that'd be cool if it did. But it doesn't, unfortunately. Any of these open? No. Okay. Let's go ahead and unload these then. Uh, we want to move, 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 move. Um, space, confirm. And there we go. There's our sheep. First of all, sheep, anyway, it's quite a small pen. I don't think I'm going to get much more sheep with this. looks a little bit unfair if we do that. They'll be a little bit squashed. But I'll give you a quick tour. So obviously this is where you unload them, or load them up if you're selling them. Here's the water trough there. The food trough is over there, which we're going to be putting our grass shortly. And then just in here, they can go ahead and hide from the rain. So a bit old and dusty in here. But like I said, it really does suit the map personally, I think. So yeah, with that said, final job of today. Let's go ahead and jump back into the old Ford here. Pull it forward, get the door closed up. Um, I'm going to debate whether we're going to get some more sheep. So for now, I'm going to leave this here. And I'll meet you guys back at the field. Okay, so I've already actually brought the uh, forage wagon down a minute ago. So there's the wind roll that we left there. We own both all these fields. So there should be no reason that I, anyone else apart from us need to get into the field. So I just left it there for now in the little uh, bypass or lay-by. Um... So here is our rented forage wagon. So like I said earlier on in the video, not how I like doing it personally, because it's not what I see around me. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen one of these near me, if I'm being honest. But for now, we're a little bit limited, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and get it turned on and up to the proper RPMs. Help us put the tractor into forward. So this thing holds 2,300 liters. Oh, no, sorry. 23,000 liters. That's a bit better. And let's get that lowered down. And we'll just start collecting grass. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Bit of a weird one today. We've just been basically setting up for our sheep. Really like the uh, sheep pasture that I've got. Once again, let me know in the comment section how you guys do wind rowing around you. Or how you see people do it. Or how you like doing it in farms. And we have to be a real farmer to participate in that. I've been Simulate Gaming. Thank you very, very... In fact, I need to do the headlamp first. What am I doing, Sim? There we go. Let's get this done first. So thank you very much for joining me. If you guys did enjoy it, please slap that thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Don't forget to check out Instant Gaming, link in the description box down below for up to 75% off games, sometimes even more, up to 95%. Yeah, it's basically just a way of me saying thank you for the support, and you guys obviously get discount on games. I've been Simulate... Oh, no, I'm not. I'm in a different wrong tractor. I've been Simulate Gaming. Hit subscribe to see more once again, and I'll see you in the next one.